Hey guys, how are you doing? So, um, I just got finished filming the, or recording the video you are about to watch, and I realized that it is a lot, like, it was over 30 minutes long, and I realized that I don't, oh, I didn't realize, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to upload videos that are longer than 15 minutes long. And so I'm going to split up into maybe three parts. Um, so just expect abrupt stops because it was kind of one giant rant. And um, I think I'm going to upload them all at the same time if I'm not too lazy. And um, uh, yeah, just be aware that the videos will just stop without me saying like bye or anything like that anything indicating that it's gonna stop so I hope you enjoy hey guys it's me again I know it's been a while and I'm sorry for that but sometimes it just feels like um, there's no point in making videos since I have so many people watching or not so many so few people watching them but, you know, as long as one person watches it, uh, it it's, should be good enough for me. Um, so this is going to be a recap of this past season of Survivor, which is uh, known as Caramoan or Fans vs. Favorites 2. Um, it's been, I want to say at least two months, two months, maybe even three since the season ended, and I, I'm gonna go off of memory from what I, from the things I say. So uh, <laughs> this should be interesting. Um, let's get started, shall we? So season one, uh, season one, episode one. What what happened? Um, they get their the fans and favorites do a reward challenge. And, um, it's a very physical one, and something interesting was said, uh, Shamar said to, uh, during one of the lower rounds, Shamar was like, break her wrist, which is weird. Um, and the fans ended up winning that and getting the flint, and I don't know if there was anything else. And then... Shamar gets on the wrong foot, like the hit camp, Shamar gets on the, off on the wrong foot with pretty much the entire tribe. Um, and he didn't like to help, he didn't want to help out or anything. And then the, during the challenge, the fav fans, I mean, not favorites, the fans won. And Francesca, who was the first person to be voted off on the season she was previously on, uh, she got voted off again uh, as the first person voted off, and so she got voted off first twice, which is kind of embarrassing, but I mean, at least she's known for something, I guess, and um, then episode two, I don't know what the reward was, but I'm pretty sure the favorites won that. And, um, let's see, I'm not sure, I know I said who won the reward for the first episode, but I want to make sure I said the right one, because I'm thinking I may have said fans when it was the favorites who won the reward challenge. I don't really remember, <laughs> even though it was like two minutes ago. But, um, uh, let's see, the favorites probably won the reward challenge in episode two, and they won the uh, immunity challenge. So the, f the favorites won those, and the fans had to uh, go to tribal council and they voted off Ally. Because there was an alliance of four, which was Ali, Reynold, Eddie, and Hope. And four is not a majority when it comes to ten tribes of ten. So they kind of screwed up. And I have seen some, um, I have seen like all the after shows. 
and the people in the four, like Allie and Hope, they didn't realize that they were uh, in the minority. They thought they had a fifth person and possibly even a sixth. So, but I mean, when it's just the four of you off by yourselves, it's kind of obvious. It should be obvious that you're all alone. Even if you think it's you, like your idea to separate from the others, if you're if you're separating yourself from the others, that kind of gives them the idea of hey, they don't want to be with us, so so we'll just vote them out. Um, let's see, episode three, favorites won the immunity challenge again, and I'm calling the tribes fans and favorites because I don't remember the actual tribe names. Maybe like. I think the call was one of them, and maybe Gota, or those could have just been uh, tri previous tribes, like tribe names for previous seasons. I don't know, but uh, even if I got those names right, I don't know which one is which. So I'm saying they're fans versus fans and favorites because I mean that's what they are. And uh, the favorites favorites won immunity challenge, and hope was sent home. And then, the next episode, Shamar gets his, uh, injures his eye by, like, scratching it or something. Which I, th I thought was kind of funny, because he got the injury by laying in the shelter. And the entire issue with Shamar was that he kept, he wouldn't do anything around camp, because he would, he said, he would be like, why would I waste my energy and I'm like I might get injured and I find it funny how he managed to get injured while not doing anything and so he was medically evacuated and the favorites won immunity again and um so Lauren she was sent home because Renault con convinced the tribe that they should keep their strength and Lauren was the weakest link so Lauren was sent home, and then, uh, gosh, um, I think the next episode, Brandon had his outbreak of stupidity. Uh, I don't know if there are hint, uh, Brandon fans out there, but it was painful for me to watch because. He kept saying that him being voted out was him being the author of his own fate. And I'm just like, dude, you're an idiot. You were getting voted out anyways. You knew you were getting voted out. And so that's why you're trying to pretend like you're in control. It was very, uh, it, was, it was tough to watch. Um, and uh, just, it's kind of angering because it's like, he was preventing somebody who would actually have a chance of winning. Like, someone, you may get mad at me for saying this, but someone who's mentally sane. Um, I've never seen Russell play, but um, I don't think Russell was quite as, uh, I don't want to say this, but quite as stupid. Um, I mean, I heard from what I can tell, like, he was a villain, but he wasn't a stupid villain.